Hey there, fellow movie enthusiasts. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into the action-packed world of Monster Hunter, directed by none other than Paul W.S. Anderson. And hey, we've also got Paul Thomas Anderson and Wes Anderson thrown into the mix. Talk about an interesting trio. But let's focus on the movie and dive right into this review. So, Monster Hunter marks the latest collaboration between director Paul W.S. Anderson and his talented wife, Mila Jovovich, after their epic journey with the Resident Evil franchise came to an end. And surprise, surprise, they're teaming up once again for another video game adaptation, this time based on the beloved Monster Hunter series. In the film, Jovovich plays a soldier who finds herself stranded in the desert, only to stumble upon a portal that transports her to a whole new world filled with monstrous creatures. Alongside her, there's Tony Jaw, a character who knows everything about these sand-dwelling beasts. And oh boy, Ron Perlman makes an appearance looking rather, well, majestic. Now let's get one thing straight. I was in the mood for some mindless entertainment. I mean, let's face it, this year has been tough, and I just wanted to watch a movie that could help me escape. Usually, I don't set high expectations for Paul W.S. Anderson films. Many of his movies tend to lean on existing material, and even his best original work, like Event Horizon, can feel a tad derivative. But hey, sometimes you just want to switch off, right? And Monster Hunter delivered on that front, but that doesn't necessarily make it a masterpiece. It pretty much delivers exactly what you'd expect. Mila Jovovich running around, shooting at monsters, and doing her best impression of someone from Shadow of the Colossus. Plus, there's no shortage of cringeworthy dialogue and jokes that fall flat. I should mention that there was a joke that caused some controversy in the American version I watched, and it got edited out. One quirky thing I noticed is that there's an opening quote in the film. You know, the kind of thing you see on the back of a DVD for a bad movie, but there's no attribution. It just appears in quotes without a name, which left me scratching my head. And here's a strange choice. They give us the longitude and latitude coordinates of the location our heroes are in. It's like they're trying to turn this into Hunt for Red October, but it never really comes into play again. Now, if you've seen a Paul W.S. Anderson film after Alien vs. Predator, you're probably familiar with his penchant for chaotic action sequences. It's almost as if he's in his own world, immune to constructive criticism. The action in Monster Hunter is no exception. Incomprehensible sequences with lightning-fast cuts, even when there's no real action happening on screen. It's like he's trying to give us subliminal messages or something. And let's not forget Tony Jaa. The guy can pull off some insane stunts effortlessly, so there's no need to mask it with excessive editing. He's easily the best part of the film. The monster designs, inspired by the game covers, are on point, but the story might not be exactly what fans of the game had in mind. I've got friends who've played Monster Hunter, and I don't recall them talking about a plot like this. So, die-hard fans might be left disappointed. But, hey, I've got to give credit where it's due. Mila Jovovich kicks some serious monster butt, and she's always convincing in these roles. She's a blast to watch, and I was looking for a brainless movie to unwind, and Monster Hunter delivered. I watched it with a buddy, and we had a good time poking fun at some of the cringe-worthy lines. So, if you're in the mood for some mindless monster slaying and can look past its flaws, you might just have a blast watching Monster Hunter. I'm giving it a D plus because it's pretty much what I expected. Not a cinematic masterpiece, but a decent way to turn off your brain for a while. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this review and subscribe for more content. Until next time, keep watching, keep critiquing, and I'll catch you in the next review. And if you want more reviews, just click right here to get stuck in the movie madness.